Yeah, Lori, we will say right up front that Sawant did not return a request for comment, and this complaint is a little complicated and comes from a political rival. But it essentially alleges that the council member has routinely misappropriated government resources and has gone out of her way to shield records from the public. Logan Bowers makes a bold claim. It appears as though Shama Sawant has been misappropriating the resources of her office to advance her political party and then also covering that up. That's why the Seattle cannabis entrepreneur and engineer says a complaint has been filed this week with the city's Ethics and Elections Commission. I'm filing this complaint because I think that uh, ethical governance is critical to the health of our democracy. He cites specific information pulled from an exhaustive original report from Kevin Schofield on his website, SCC Insight. Seattle City Council Insight is a website that I run. The former and longtime Microsoft researcher started covering City Hall for the website because of his interest in civic policy and was tipped to Sawant's unusual governance. Socialist alternative uh, Sawant's political organization uh, is really running her office and her decisions. Schofield, through available records, determined Sawant was subservient to Socialist Alternative, making policy, funding, and staffing decisions based on the whims of the private members only organization, a potential violation of city ethics code, and that Sawant and her staffers tried to conceal that through the use of a Google folder and Gmail accounts to avoid state public records requests. Schofield says he spent three months investigating Sawant's ties to Socialist Alternative. They don't publish anything about their finances. They don't publish anything about who the leadership of the organization is. So it, it's this uh, very closed organization, very opaque organization that controls one of nine city council members. Sawant, in a lengthy response to the story, makes no apologies, saying, I plead guilty to being a democratically accountable socialist, elected representative, and not a corporate politician. Bowers, it is important to note, is also now running for Sawant's seat in District 3. I am specifically running for Seattle City Council because Seattle is in a period of unprecedented growth. And believes the ethics allegations are also part of a bigger picture that every current council member will have to answer to, no matter their political affiliation. I think that the record speaks for itself. She has presided over the worst crises in homelessness and housing affordability in at least the last hundred years in Seattle. The city's ethics and elections office acknowledged receiving the complaint and said it could take weeks or months to come to a conclusion about the actions. Sawant in that lengthy post says she's not doing anything different than, say, Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin using outside consultants to craft campaigns for legislation that benefits the city. Well, I can see some skeptics saying that this looks like politics, possibly a smear campaign against the council member. Well, yes, because Bowers is, is running for her seat. I mean, I think it looks uh, pretty transparent there, and he acknowledges that right up front that he's a candidate. He's raised more than $20,000 for his campaign, the most of any Sawant opponent, and is accepting democracy vouchers. Sawant has raised more than $45,000 and is not using democracy vouchers. It's March. we got a long way to go yeah. before even the filing deadline in May. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see where this one takes us next. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Chris, Corey. thanks.